How was yeah. um, because your help? But you listen, you're a, you're looking great by the way for sixty. Thank you very much, yeah. But you had a heart attack last well, year. Well, you never heart attack. Or do you mm. never heart attack? When you get to sixty, you got to go to doctors and they give you an MOT, just check you all over. And then when they're doing it, they went, "You've got a leaking heart valve, Mr. Courtney." And because I'm a dickhead. Sorry, just, Viagra, we've been taking to Yeah, all well, these bundles of HDM, right? HDM. I'm a man with a dungeon at the bottom of my garden. What do you think I'm in What do you think I'm in here? Think I'm in here? But, but I went in there, he said, you need a new valve, there's nothing urgent. He went, um, we don't know how long that's been leaking. Mm-hmm. It could have been leaking for 40 years, or it could have just happened, but it would make you prone to an heart attack. So somewhere down the line, we're going to fit you in for a non-urgent appointment to get that mended. I went, yeah, cool. And then I've, I've said, to, said to the people, I'm getting this thing put in my heart. And everyone's going to me, oh, you're getting um, a stent, a stent, this, stent, there. And I've ended up truly with my hand on my heart. I thought I was getting a stent. I, that's really what I thought. And a stent is something you go in in the morning, they stick it in a vein in your bollocks, and they stick it up to your heart, and you're out in the afternoon. I thought it was that until I went in and I had to sign this certificate if I die. And what are you talking about? <laughs> you're in here for the week. And then it was the. Uh, I was having open heart surgery, like Shit. breaking all my ribs, cut my best breast plate in half, take my heart out, cut a lump out of it, put a pig's bit of a heart on there, then put it back in you, sew it all back together, and say, that's it. And I was like, wow. You know, and I really weren't ready for that. And I had a little bit of um, rheumatoid arthritis kicked into me, and um, I'll give someone a clump, and his tooth stuck in my hand, and the poison got into my bone marrow and the poison was going around my body in my bone marrow and they thought it was in my blood. So they give me blood transfusions. I was in hospital five weeks, but I was not trying to find out what it was. Um, I got that? it. Yeah, and then so getting better from an heart attack, that is, that's hard work. It really hurts. It is really that really hurts. Um, try to slow you down then? Has it slowed you yeah, down? It slowed me down, yeah, because what it made me do is I've ended up sitting in front of the city for half a year Watching Netflix, which I think is a new invention, ain't that fantastic? <laughs> I've never, I could never understand, I could never understand watching Netflix and eating. And I went up to 19 and three quarter stone. Right? Couldn't get fit again because I'm now huge. I ain't got the willpower to do it. So I really have, was not running on the full tank for oh. about a year and a half. 